Hi, Gemini. This is Alex, and I'm here. <laughs> I think I'm here to bring you your weekly love reading if my cards act right. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Thank you so much for all of my likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. You guys rock. All right, Venus. Let's see what God Angel. Mm, Capricorn. Mm, Capricorn. Let's see what God Angels and Universe has for you, Gemini. Venus came in strong. Libra and uh, Taurus as the Empress. Ah, we got the lovers. I love you. I love you too. I miss you so much. Have a great day. <laughs> Y'all see that Instagram video? I love it. All right, let's see what we got. Listen, somebody is not letting your asses go. Okay, y'all asses go. I don't know if this is you. No, this is not you, Gemini. Somebody is not letting your ass go. I don't care how many times you done said, listen, but you hurt me. And I don't know if I can trust you. And you got to start. We got to start all over. It's like, all right, just tell me what to do. I need you. I want you in my life. You got cancer facing. <sighs> all right. Yeah, look. At the bottom, you got the Knight of Swords. So you got somebody come banging down your door trying to be with you, Gemini. I ain't, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at all. Somebody is in love with you. Somebody's just submitting. You know what I mean? They kind of feel like you're the one or you're the only one, or at least that's what they're telling you. It's like, you know you're my love. You know I love you. You know I want to be with you. Um, what I'm also hearing, too, is that they keep changing their story. You know what I mean? Which is leaving you emotionally confused. It's like, oh, well, you love me. You say you love me and you want to be with me, but your actions show me something different. Not only that, but I'm also getting too that a lot of you guys kind of feels like this person has multiple options. Um, be careful because for very few of you, this person may be attempting to try to get you pregnant to keep you in their lives, right? To keep you in their lives, to keep you from like, quote unquote, running away from them. What I'm also getting to is that, yeah, for some of you, say, for instance, who you're not having sex with this person, they could be using being a family, getting married, as having kids as a way to kind of, quote unquote, reel you in or keep you locked in. We got Capricorn, Beelzebub himself and the Two of Pentacles. Um, they feel like you're juggling them, like you have somebody else, and that makes them feel very insecure and nervous. Okay, they don't want you to go, Gemini. Don't go. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Um, what I'm getting here is that you done fucked up too many times, so I got to move on. Now, I don't think that's the message. That's just what I got for some of you guys. With that Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, somebody wants a second chance. It's like, all right, I know I messed up. I know I, you know, hurt you in the past. I know you might have felt abandoned. I know, you know, you got a lot on your plate right now, but I want to be your sunshine. I want to be the one who makes you happy, right? I just kind of feel like, again, this person is telling you every last thing you need to hear to keep you locked in. What I'm also hearing too is they want more of your time is what I'm getting. Well, would you look at here? I just noticed that we have the Empress twice with the Nine of Swords, right? So that just kind of says to me that there is you both want a new beginning with each other. You know what I mean? One is confused because it feels like there are multiple options. One person has multiple options, but then another person is extremely guarded. And the person who wants to get this started, who has the multiple options, the reason why this person is guarded is because of those emotional options, right? It's weird. This is convoluted because now I'm getting that one person Come, is coming across like they have, sorry, let me go back because angels just updated it. You both think that you both have multiple options. Okay. Cause it's, it's here and then it's also here right now. Sorry. It's, it's here and here. Okay. And one person is, is like, no, I'm okay. I'm ready to start this over. The other person is like, nah, I don't know. You know, let me think about it. You know what I mean? And that 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 was hurtful, Gemini. Um, you are a sign of duality, so it's it's weird, but the last couple of readings, it's almost like reading given two readings at one time. Okay? Um 
yeah they're they're seeing i feel like some of you they're seeing you and multiple other people but they may be accusing you of having multiple people right and it's almost like somebody in this knows that they're not really in a position to be in this and they should kind of bow out gracefully if you will but it's almost like they don't want you to leave them for somebody else they don't want like this new opportunity or allow this new opportunity to come in for you right but it's almost like that with that behavior to an extent it's almost like they're canceling themselves out right they're canceling themselves out not only that but you have divine partnership here right with the emperor and the empress um for me as a reader there are only two divine partnership cards or com combinations it's the emperor and the empress and it's the king of pentacles and the queen of cups for me as a reader okay and this is a divine partnership but you have two empresses on the board so this says to me that somebody is married right and this is the kind of quote-unquote mistress okay and they feel like um they can't get what they need from their wife so they're wanting it from you but are not sure if they can get it from you because you're entertaining other people okay on the board i have again taurus and libra with venus i have capricorn as the devil i have taurus and libra again i have aries and then i also have cancer okay i also kind of feel like this person wants this husband whomever this is he wants all of your love he wants you to he want this empress and he want that empress greedy ass <laughs> which is the devil right he want this one and this one and there you are gemini right like listen look dude you can't get motherfucking both you better pick goddamn one and then let me know which one you damn pick because you ain't gonna be rocking with me and rocking with this other empress okay sorry that just came out so back to the chariot and the emperor right it's almost like somebody wants you to choose them they want you to choose them to go forward with in whatever the situation is and again with these two the two guys here they're married, right? They're married in this particular situation. Um, I feel like there's a lot of communication that's coming towards you. And it feels, again, like they're trying to appeal to your emotions to get you to reconnect or to come back to them. And again, he's sitting right here next to the king of, uh, next to the king of kings, who's the emperor. What I'm also getting to is that you have the king and queen here. But he also wants to be your king as well. He wants to be your king too, which is why he kind of feels he feels like you should just drop everybody and get get with him. Drop that zero and get with this hero, right? Um, I also feel like to an extent he's not really coming with much. Whoever this king of emperor is, the Aries, whomever it is, or the Capricorn, he's not really coming with too much. By the way, it's like he's 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 again he's talking a lot. He's talking a lot of smack. And he's talking about, you know, rubbing you down and making love to you. And I want to make you feel like this, that, and the other. He's trying to break you emotionally. He's trying to snatch your soul. And snatch your soul just simply means that he's trying to get you highly emotional. Emotional. Jesus, Lord. He's trying to get you emotional to the point where you would let him back in. I feel like that could have been an aha moment for some of you, which is why I paused. Let's see what Romance Angels has. These cards have been on it today. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah, he's coming back in trying to get you all in love dude, with him. Y'all got to remember, too, that Venus is the sign of love as well. Prosperity, health, everything. Beauty. You know what I mean? So he might have even been going to the gym. Jesus going to the gym all getting his pectorals all in shape and shit and he's trying to come back as superman's uncle <laughs> oh, look at that now this true gemini duality boo boo you want me release that release your ex okay but also the person coming in is like okay if i come back in release your ex okay <laughs> 
That's so funny. What I'm also getting too for some of you, if you had sex with this person, no judgment, right? But if you had sex with this married guy, after you had sex is now where his insecurities are kicking in and he, he only wants you for himself. Last card, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay? If you want better, do better. Okay? If you want better, do better. If you love this person, yeah, take the steps towards him. If you don't love the person, take the steps towards, take the steps towards someone else. Give your relationship a chance. Um, work on your partnership. Okay? I don't feel like that's this person, by the way, Gemini. That's not this person. This is your partnership. You and yourself. You and your divine. Right? There's a, they're, they're both duality. Right? They're you, your masculine, feminine. They are balanced within you. I feel like that's the partnership that you should be working on. As in, what do I want? What's really going to help me in the long run? Is this person coming back in to add or coming back in to subtract? All right, guys. If it does resonate, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Love you. Bye.